Hey there, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm and I'm here with Lucy. And today we wanna to show you how to grow zinnias from seed. So zinnias are one of my absolute favorite flowers to grow here at the flower farm. They're one of those flowers that are considered to be cut and come again, which means basically you can deadhead them throughout the summer and you will have continuous blooms all the way through fall until like the frost. So they look beautiful in bouquets. The colors are spectacular. They come in gorgeous pinks and magentas and oranges, and they're just a really beautiful, happy, cheerful flower. So zinnia seeds are super easy to plant in your own gardens. You're gonna wait until there's no more threat of frost. You wanna make sure that the ground's kind of warmed up a bit. So here in New Jersey, I wait until about a week after Mother's Day. That's usually like a good rule of thumb, but check your frost dates in your neck of the woods. So you wait till the garden's nice and warmed up, and then you're gonna find a spot that gets full sun because zinnias love sunshine. And what you're going to do is you're gonna come out to your soil. Zinnias love well-drained soil. When you're planting your zinnia seeds, your best bet is to check out the back of your seed packet because different varieties are gonna be planted uh, with different spacing and different depths. The back of the packet will show you the depth and it will show you the spacing that they recommend for the variety of zinnias that you bought. Now, smaller zinnias are gonna be planted closer than larger zinnias. Some smaller varieties of zinnias are planted four to five inches from each other, while some of the larger varieties can be planted 12 to 24 inches from each other. Since the seed company recommended that I plant this variety five inches from each other, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna come out here with my tape measure. I'm gonna do a measurement at five, do a little quarter inch hole, at 10 quarter inch hole, and then at 15 a quarter inch hole. And I'm going to put in my zinnia seed. Sometimes people will plant two seeds per hole just in case the zinnias don't germinate. So if you want, you can actually put two zinnia seeds in each hole. And then if they both come up, you can just kind of thin them out. Other people like to just plant one and take their chances. And we're just going to take some soil and lightly cover them up. And that's it. I'm going to wind up watering these seeds in because seeds need water to start to germinate, to start to grow. So we're going to add a little bit of water. And you're going to make sure that your zinnias stay moist for at least seven days. That's about the time it takes to germinate. And then they should start coming up uh, within about five to ten days. And sometimes the back of your seed packet will also tell you the days to germination. If not, usually about five to 10 days is the rule of thumb. And then within a few weeks, you're gonna start seeing some long, beautiful stems. And before you know it, you're gonna have amazing, gorgeous, beautiful zinnia blooms that will bloom in your garden all summer long, right into fall. Zinnias are a terrific flower for a pollinator garden. So the bees, the butterflies, the hummingbirds, and the hummingbird moths all love these flowers. So it's a terrific flower to plant in your garden, and I will put a link in descriptions below to a great seed company called True Leaf Market that I love buying my zinnia seeds from. True Leaf Market gave me a coupon code to pass on to you guys, so check that out in descriptions below. Please let us know where you're viewing this from in this great, big, beautiful world. I love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week. And please come say hi to us over on our Cranberry Fields Instagram page. Please join us on our Kelly Lehman's Flower Tribe Facebook group where you can post pictures of your beautiful gardens and ask garden questions. And you'll get some answers from our Flower Tribe members. It's a terrific place to meet up and swap tips and uh, talk garden chat with other gardeners from all around the world. I will see you in the next video.